Welcome back everyone, it's Tales of Drang Lake time once again. Uh, in the last episode, if I remember correctly, obviously we died in No Man's Wharf, but yeah, I did manage to get the short cut unlocked, which is very good. So, what we can do now is start progressing in the game. Strangely, I'm not getting chased by like a million enemies. Uh, I thought all the ones hanging to the side would be coming after the boy and there is no... hello there holy shit it's one of these guys I thought it was gonna be Carillion of the whatever uh, but he ain't here not that, you know we are going for bitch ass magic in this playthrough, oh if this was a mimic that would be killer okay the bandit stuff so really we have two options here one option is to immediately go to uh, the ship there we go but I think what might be better is to take our time sorry just checking my phone there for the time so that I don't go overboard god that attack is dumb as shit um, yeah, I think it might be like worth finishing up the area uh, in a sense of going to the house. Maybe Carillion is here hiding somewhere. Oh, since when the hell did these guys have poise? Hey, hey, no! I was gonna say. See, Dark Souls 2 healing can backfire too, you know. And not just for you. Most of the time it's just gonna be for you. Uh, but you know. Sometimes it does backfire for the enemy. Fucking hell, these guys have a lot of HP. God. What the? What? Okay. Sketch headlock. Shout out. Um, that was some insane damage. Man, that was... And that was insanely... I probably did actually survive with 1 HP, which happens to me almost as often as falling off of ledges. So, I guess it all balances out in the end. Um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take surviving with... What? Oh, it's you. You have some crazy ass stacks. There should be another one of you somewhere. Yep, I was gonna say. Is that what these guys attack like? Uh, they only show up in New Game Plus, if I remember correctly. So this is not an enemy you really get to like see often. Okay, change of tactics. So while that one is getting up... Yeah, that's what I was... Trying to avoid. Yeah. I knew I was dead. This is Dark Souls 2 poison. Uh, and Dark Souls 2 poison is fucked up. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get back here. I'm dying a lot here. This is not an easy... Because these guys have messed up attacks. Uh, it's like... It's a thing that this game does where... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna turn back into human form. We're just gonna clingering it. A lot of enemies have very active attacks, if you know what I mean. Like, it has a lot of attack frames. Which kind of causes them to be jank. Anyways, I'm gonna stop babbling. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I'm probably gonna get attacked by the Shadow Ninjas. Or whatever these guys are called. Yeah, you can be backstabbed. Eat shit, bitch. I would like their set, though. Uh, their set is fairly cool. Especially the helmet and the handpiece. Looks badass, because the handpiece has those like spikes coming out of it. It's a little bit edgy. But sometimes you take edgy, don't you? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick with the spear. Use the distance. Fuck you. To our advantage. Alright, I don't mind that he healed. Cool. That's much better. Oh, if this was a mimic. I'm thinking every chest is a mimic because... I'm thinking how much of a dickhead I would be if I was designing a mod. 
God, fucking hell. Okay. Lesson learned. If you want crystal lizards, uh, the spear is the way to go. It's interesting, you would think it would be impossible to hit these things with a spear, but... No, apparently it's the... It's the katana that's the problem. Which is a little bit shitty. Royal Soldier's Ring. This is the one that increases your equip load, right? Yeah. Sort of Havel's Light. But don't... Fuck! I... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I used it already, didn't I? I had that, like, Monk's Talisman or whatever it's called. God damn, poison is insane in this game. Oh, holy shit. Like, not even the life gem can keep up with it. Yeah, at least it doesn't last long, but... Man. See, the only issue with this type of uh, poison is that Toxic sort of loses its place, because Toxic is just even faster and lasts even less time. Uh, but, you know, there's like no differentiator, really. On the other hand, Poison was absolutely... Like, what the game? It was absolutely meaningless in Dark Souls 1, which was really the issue. There were some really strange hitboxes there. Yeah, get backstabbed, asshole. We're gonna still have to go back to... Oh, nice, the Varangian sword. It's not a bad piece of gear. It's sort of like standard straight sword, but... Straight swords are pretty good in this game. Oh, there he is. I knew he had to be lurking around here somewhere. Oh, I thought he was just gonna say, hmm. Is there like drinking background sounds? <laughs> Magic impaired. Nice. That's ableist, bruh. Fuck you. Oh, this is like a proper, like. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Bro, I need a drink. And everybody's like, chill here. Holy... <laughs> I really like this. Sorry I knocked over your... thingy. Oh, you can't go in there? Damn. This is really, this is a really good. Shout out. Shout out to the mod maker. This is pretty cool. The Gavlan is here. These guys probably, like, survive off of Gavlan alone. We wheel, we deal. Uh, he has the Ring of Giants, Poison Arrows, and the Poison Shit. And of course we can sell stuff to him, which we might just do. I have, like, a lot of redundant gear. Uh, but also some stuff I don't wanna... We were definitely selling the Nipple Shield. This piece of shit. Uh, we don't need that. Ishin don't need no shield. And Luke deal. This is really cool. I don't know you. That is a strange outfit though. Things are better that way. All right, let's just speed run the Luke deal dialogue. Just a very friendly pub patron. This is a chill pub, though. Cool. That's chill. This is definitely like a gastro pub, too. Like, just look at it. Uh, the prices here are gonna be insane, like burgers for ridiculous 
like ten dollar price tags. Holy shit! Look at that NPC. There's one scary motherfucker, and then this dude is just like meditating up here. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go back to the. Oh wait, wait a second. It's like. Yeah, these guys are hostile. I know you can use a Pharaoh's Lockstone here to like light up the area, but... I don't know, man. I've never done it. Well, not never done it, I don't usually do it. I don't think it's like worth it. Still. Let's get the hell back. Although, on the other hand, fuck it. Pharaoh's Lockstones are not that difficult to get in this game. Let's just do this. I think what this does... If I remember correctly, what this does is it get rid gets rid of the long-armed weird-ass enemies. Uh, it's like probably the most significant change. Cool, really, let's get back to the bonfire. So I think what we can do here is... We can risk the 13k souls. It's not gonna be... Like... Uh, it's unlikely that I'll get killed... Twice. Uh, it can happen, but... Something I would definitely try to avoid. What I'm gonna do for sure is... I will summon Lucatil, and this is Lucatil, I think. Yep. Because I might try just doing her quest line. Which I don't normally do. Okay. Bro. Talk about not dying. God fucking hell, I hate these attacks. Don't worry, we can... We can recover, just stay cool. There's still another one. How the hell did you aggro? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's pop some life gems. And I gotta be careful, because I think one of the things I remember, and I said this before, specifically about this mod, is you cannot purchase infinite life gems anywhere. Uh, let's just get out of the um, range of those arrows. Hopefully Lucatil is going to be smart. Yeah, she's going to be smart enough to follow us. Instead of just like, I don't know, charging to attack the bow and arrow guy. Come on Lucatil, we're taking this ship. And she is actually very strong. Um, definitely NPCs got way more useful. Because they're... Oh, nice! They're kind of dumbasses in Dark Souls 1 sometimes. Although there's a lot of shitty ones in this game too. Actually. Holy crap, she's strong. That actually does fit, placing one of those enemies there. Makes sense. Your ship is sinking, bro. Come on. Come on, look at deal. Do I have a weapon buff? I'm pretty sure I do. Let's let's pop something. Uh, dark. Let's use an aromatic ooze, just because of the name. But... I think this guy is weak to whatever. Any little bit of extra damage will help. Oh, did they make this thing like way quicker? I think they did. Maybe it's not an issue that I have Luke deal with me. So she's pulling aggro nice and look at how much damage she's taking. 
This is why it's good having her around. <laughs> She's taking like literally zero damage. Like perfect for aggroing. That it whoa! Oh that's the grab. I was like, what the hell is going on? Look at the can you just do this? No you can't. It's all good. Look at how look at how much actual HP she lost. That is absolutely ridiculous. Cool. Thanks, Lucatil. I feel like that boss would have been annoying without her. Uh, with the rising water and everything. And isn't this the boss... I might be wrong, but... Isn't this the boss that can actually heal? I'm pretty sure this is the one... Like, he heals a little bit constantly. And that's why it's difficult to kill them with, like, low-level builds or something, like... This is a pr pretty epic scene, gotta admit. We're riding out to the prison, to Alcatraz. That ship could be a little bit better designed, though. It's all good. But I think still, the other way through here might be a little bit better. We have both bonfires unlocked, so it doesn't like really matter. Oh shit, don't walk off the edge. I don't know why bros, but this place has always, always reminded me of Rayman, Rayman 2. The fifth level, the ice cave level. This just really looks like how that place starts. Is this just a blackout drunk? He is, yeah. It just, if you, I have a Rayman 2 playthrough too, but if you look at it, the start is like so similar with this like, the colors of the beach and the skybox and everything. Anyways, 22k souls. Let's hit up the bonfire and I think... I'm finally gonna make good on my promise and do some inventory sorting here, which I've been like meaning to do. Okay, cool. Let's get back to Majula and seek seek Lest. Uh, let's see how far we can get with our levels. We have a couple, okay. Definitely I'm noticing that we need more endurance and this and some more HP wouldn't hurt either, I think. That's like a fair, fair soul, soul distribution or something akin. We have shards too. And let's see what we can do with them. So both of these are plus two. I think, I think I'm going to get the spear up first because the spear is doing way less damage. And, you know, we want to balance it out because I'm using both of them equally, about equally. Uh, might also just pop a couple of consumables here. I'd really like to move the the merchant. I feel like that would be a smart thing to do. So let's just quickly get there and try doing that. Yeah, because I think if I buy this bright bow, oh, she actually sells five of them. This should be enough to get her to move, for sure. I'm really hoping. So she's gonna... Interesting. Yeah, okay, there we go, there we go. I was gonna say. Cool, cool, cool. That's all we needed to do. Hmm. Let's let's clear out this part of what's it called first. Fuck! What is this area called? Sinners, not sinners rise. Lost Bastille. I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Oh, we're still going with the Varangians. Okay, that is much more like it. That is much more like it damage-wise. Because again, the... The Katana is already doing well. It can afford to be less leveled up. I feel like I'm gonna get fucked by the Pursuer. Um in this area. I did keep... no! Oh, God damn it. I did keep the... Okay, wait a second. I did keep the composite bow, because I did the inventory sorting. I can use it, and it might just be worth going for some ranged attacks. Cause them boys up there are gonna... Where is he? Oh, there you are. I was just about to say, is there more dogs? And there is. There's always more dogs. Yeah, so I'm like really not scared, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get screwed up by the pursuer. I think we might as well just. Oh, nice. Humanity? Yes. Those dogs pretty much always drop humanity. Unless there is no pursuer here, which would be a little bit strange. Because there's supposed to be one here. This is the one that like kind of spawns weird and can leave really quickly. Or like despawn super easily. It would be a shame. Hmm. He's just not... Just ain't having it. Well, that's okay. Just in case. And this should be a shard. It's not a shard. It's a fragrant branch, which is sort of equally useful. I'll take... I will take a fragrant branch. It does allow us to go to... Uh, the shaded woods and stuff like that. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that just yet. been so long since I've been to this part of the level I even forget like what's on the other side of the door cool and I think we're just like sort of done here let's see if I can manage to do the barrel thing the first time around sort of 50 50 actually fuck it might be bad because the enemy he pushes it right Oh, fucking. <laughs> what a useless idiot. Listen, at least kick that thing in a way that allows me the shortcut. No, you can't have that, can you? I think you actually need to quit and reload for that to work, too. Interesting. This didn't used to be here. What the hell is this? Hmm. Okay, point noted. At least... Well, the statue definitely wasn't there before, but I think the ladder as well. Point noted to check that out. Yeah, having much more stamina is so good. It's really what this uh, build was missing. Just to be able to attack decently. Because normally that's the way we would go. And there is no statue there. Obviously they moved it. Lucatil, what's up? 
This is one of those weird things where you can't get back to the bonfire from here. Antiquated key. I'm gonna have to... Which one is this? A very old key. Well, thanks. Oh, it probably goes in that thing, that other door back there. The big reveal, and we only needed to talk to her once. Which is pretty cool. But you know, it's interesting, you know, it really plays into the key theme of this game, which is um, losing your memories and stuff. That's like really the key that the undead, undead sort of gradually lose their humanity mainly by losing their memories it's sort of a uh, one of the explanations people have for the weird transitions in this game that really you are just basically like blacking out in between uh, and that's why it seems like there are some strange strange transitions which does work for some I can buy the the Drangley castle rain uh, tunnel thing being one of those that I can buy the iron keep less so okay so we have like quite a few options here I really want to check out this new path because it might just lead to that treasure uh, so let's do that we're doing okay on time because I have quite a lot to cut out here uh, I've been fucking around a bit Not fucking around, but it's just been warping and all that. Interesting. Interesting. If this leads to where I think it does, Bone Staff Rouge Water, which I think it is. Yeah, 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 this is it an assassin there and since this is that place that means there should be shouldn't there be a secret or is that not here one of those button pressing secret doors I guess not oh that's there I think What a bitch. I do like that they lit some of the torches here uh, to not make this area unbearably dark. Which this tends to be. Twin blade, cool weapon. Probably one of my favorite sort of weapon categories. Or new weapon categories in this game. Twin blades are sick. Yeah, and there is a secret, not secret, but there is, you can go down here, or up. Apparently I'm like, hella messed up about this place, because I don't know where the fuck I am. 
Hey, listen, don't blame me. Like all over the place here. Yeah, and this leads here. Which is good. But there ain't no bonfire close to anywhere here. Because we basically skipped the Flexile Sentry. Uh, but this this bonfire is blocked by Strayed. Who I can actually rescue. The question is, do we need to? Not even, like... Because we're not using magic. But that bonfire is in a very convenient location, isn't it? You know what, we'll decide later. Let's just get across, unlock Sinner's Rise. And once we have that, we can, like, do the rest of this area. Because we do want to fight the sentries too. Wouldn't want to miss out on those souls. That is an interesting hitbox, to say the least. At least we can warp around here. Cool. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. We made it here quicker than I expected. Obviously, I skipped the boss, which helps, but... Oh. Come on. Seriously? There is no bonfire here? Okay, I was so optimistic. What the? And I'm stuck there. I was stuck there for a second, that was really strange. Cool, well that's nice. Please tell me there's like one around the corner here. There isn't, just enemies. Okay bros, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna hightail it back and not get pushed off and we will figure out what to do in the next episode that's sad this bonfire is like a crutch because how the hell am i gonna get back i'm assuming there's one closer to the boss but i don't know yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of uh tales of drang lake right here if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe turn on post notifications all the usual and yeah i will catch all of you next time peace out and goodbye.